Welcome back to all of the students of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Yeshua of the Christ. Let's get straight into the word of the Lord. Um, I wish to invite your attention tonight to the gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 5, beginning with verse 1, going downward to verse number Four. The gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 8, verse 28. So that is Mark, chapter 5, verses 1 to 4, and Matthew 8, 28. And then I need you to matriculate to Acts 3 and 1. And the key verse tonight from whence we shall receive the subject tonight is Acts 12 and 4. The body of the text, ladies and gentlemen, Mark chapter 5, verses 1 to 4, Matthew 8, 28, and of course, Luke, Acts, written by the apostle St. Luke, uh, chapter 3, verse 1. So the body of the text in Mark chapter 5, verses 1 to 4, Matthew 8, 28, and Acts written by the apostle St. Luke, chapter 3, verse 1. But the key verse that I need all, all of you to concentrate on tonight is Acts 12 and 4, specifically on the term Easter, Eshtar. Eshtardi. Heavenly Father, send forth thy truth, for thy word is the truth. In Yeshua's holy name. <clears throat> Great to see all of you guys here tonight. Are you, did you miss the bishop? Put up those faces, or at least put up those hearts if you missed the bishop. And let's test the, the sound tonight. Can you hear the bishop? Put a thumbs up if indeed you can hear the bishop. Now, allow me to lay the platform, um, kind of the preface before we go into, into the foundation tonight. <coughs> I felt the leading of the Lord to lead the LeBron James series for now. I'll come back to that. And the mind of God spoke to me about exposing this upcoming holiday called Eshtar, Eshtarte, Easter. Because paganism has infected, affected, infected the body of Christ. And it is my responsibility as an apostle of Yeshua the Christ and as a bishop of an apostolic administration to address it. Let's go to Mark chapter five, verse number one. I need your prayers tonight. Great to see all of you guys. Number one, I need you to have the greatest weapon in history, the gospel that Christ taught. If you don't have the physical uh, King James version, I need you to have the electronic version, all right? And all of the moderators can put up the electronic version um, for the uh, King James text tonight. Uh, it's imperative that you follow along because if not, you'll be blocked. That's number one. Number two, make sure you have two to three pens. And number three, make sure you have a large notebook. All right, all of you guys are there. Great to see you, Pastor Sam, uh, Pastor Jody Bird, Pastor Ellis Ewing, Pastor Quinn. Great to see all, all of you guys, Pastor Grace, my daughter. Um, great to see all of you. Is Pastor Colleen with us tonight? Amen. Um, I'm telling you, thank God for Pastor Colleen. All right, Mark chapter number five. Thank you, Pastor uh, Sam. Mark chapter five, verse, let's start with verse number one. The gospel according to St. Mark. Oh, I feel an anointing here. 
chapter five, verse number one, hear ye the word of the Lord. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes. The country of the Gadarenes was strategically, strategically located on the right side of the Sea of Galilee. I want you to remember that. Gadara, which was located on the right side of Galilee, or the right hemispheric side of the brain called Galilee. And when he was come out, one person, one man, the Christ himself, when Christ was come out of the ship, there met him out of the tombs. This is where you get the term tumor. Out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling or his paganism among the tombs. And no man could bind him. No man could heal him. No man could choke him. No man could bind him. No, not with chains. Verse four, because that he had been often bound with fetters in chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. Oh, Lord have mercy. Neither could any man tame him as part of tame. Now, I want you to matriculate, oh, Pastor Sam, there's an anointing. Going back to the gospel, according to St. Matthew, one verse, chapter number eight, verse 28. Hear ye the word of the Lord. And when he was come to the other side, Christ came to the other side, of the Sea of Galilee into the country or the paganism of the Gergesenes. The land called Gergesha or Gesera, listen financial students, Gesera or Gergesenes, which means to gurgle, was on the left-hand side of the brain of Galilee. So in Mark, Chapter 5, verse 1, Gadara was on the right hemisphere side of Galilee. And Matthew 8, 28, Gergesha or Gesera was on the left hemispheric side of the brain of Galilee. Two hemispheres, one brain Galilee. This is Revelation. The country of the Gurgajines, they met him to possess with devils. Now, I used to teach Pastor Sam, there, these two were two men, but the Holy Spirit said to me this morning, Bishop, you got to correct that because the scripture did not say that there were two men. In Matthew 8, 28, there were two. There might have been a man and a woman, two women or two men, two possessed with devils coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce so that no man might pass by that way. One man in Mark 5, two individuals in Matthew 8, 28, Three, which witches call triple witching. Um, I'll explain that. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Now, to the Acts of the Apostles, 
better known as the acts of the Holy Spirit, not the reaction of the Holy Spirit, but the acts of the apostles led by the acts of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter three, verse number one. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Now Peter, St. Peter, and John, St. John, went up into the mind of God, went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour, or three o'clock during the day. Now remember, in Mark 5, one man possessed by an unclean spirit. That's Mark 5, verses 1 and 3. Matthew 8, 28, two individuals who are possessed with devils. Those are three people in Acts 3 and 1, St. Peter, a carrier of the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and St. John. These two men were later run to the tomb of the Christ went into the mind of God at the ninth hour or three o'clock in the, in the afternoon that cast out a triple witching spirit which had a man bound in his body. Oh, Lord, true witness. I need you. Now, remember, as you go back to Mark 5, verses 1 to 4, Matthew 8, 28. Gadara, the right hemisphere of, of the Galilean brain, and Gergesha, Matthew 8, 28, the left hemisphere of the Galilean brain, right and left hemisphere, Man thinks from the right side of his brain, leadership, provider, comforter. The woman thinks from the left side of her brain. She's a help me. She's not a piece of me. She's a help me. Do me a favor. Go back to Matthew. The Holy Spirit just spoke to me and said, tell the students, Bishop, go to Matthew 8.15. Matthew 8.15. When Peter's mother-in-law was sick of a fever, Matthew 8, 15, and he, Christ, touched her hand and the fever left, 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 highlight those two words, left her and she arose, not him and ministered unto the Christ and to the apostolic apostles. Peter's mother-in-law was sick with a fever, though she was born a left hemispheric thinking woman, but she was living a right hemispheric life thinking, thinking that she was a man. Let me explain this again. You got men born with the right hemispheric mindset, which is great, but a lot of men are living a left hemispheric life thinking that they are a woman. And at the same time, you got women born uh, with the left hemispheric mindset, which is beautiful, but they are attempting to live a right hemispheric life thinking that they are a man. Let's lay foundation. As I am led of and by the Holy Spirit, stay there, let's lay foundation in Mark chapter five, verses one to four, and Matthew 8, 28. The immaculate deception of deception, oh Lord have mercy. 
the immaculate deception of deception. We have arrived at a time when the global apostolic body of the Christ is in the midst of one of the greatest crises of its time. It is an identity crisis. The apostolic body in the 21st century is having trouble identifying her doctrine. The apostolic body is having a challenge of defining its theology. And she, the bride of Christ, the body of Christ, is indeed having an apostolic fit and knowing what to do socially. Great to see you, Pastor Charity. Always remember this, students, whenever there arises the inability to identify yourself, others will take up the job and identify you. The true body of the Christ, the apostolic, must never lead to others the power to identify who she, the body of Christ, the bride of Christ is. The immaculate conception, the immaculate deception of deception. The immaculate deception of deception can be clearly pointed to the origins of paganism. The historical Cerebian cortex of Lucifer L, Satan, Satan S, Devil D, there's your LSD, can clearly be revealed in scene in Isaiah 14 and 12 to 14, where five times does Lucifer use the phrase I, five times in Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 to 14. Five eyes represents the origin of the term pentagram or pentagon, five. Five times does Lucifer say, I will, or he uses the term I five times. In Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 to 14. The term pentagram or pentagon comes from the Pythagorean term pentaga, P-E-N-T-A-C-L-E, -E, meaning baphomet, meaning an interlaced pentagram, a wicked neo-paganistic luciferic system of darkness five senses of the fallen body of man. Sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. But in Isaiah 14, 12 to 14, Lucifer uses the term I five times. Now, as a side point, when you write the term Lucifer or Lucifer to decipher backwards rabbinically from right to left, 
it reveals the term, the Latin Vulgate term, refico, which means the recycling of fecal matter, the immaculate deception of deception. Remember in the text of Mark 5 and Matthew 8, 28, the right hemisphere of the brain represents manhood, leadership, provider, protector. The woman represents the left hemisphere of the brain. She's a helpmeet. She's not a piece of meat, she's a help meat. There is a great danger, students, which has become one of the greatest tragedies in and through the 21st century, is that you have right-minded men trying to live a left hemispheric life thinking that they are a woman. And you have left-minded hemispheric women, women who are trying to live a right hemispheric life thinking that she is a man. So to understand the immaculate deception of deception, you got men wanting to be women, women wanting to be men because simply they're sick. You're not born to be this. You hear people all that, I'm born to be gay. The devil is a lie. God did not create you to be a genetical misprint. So the man is created as the right hemisphere, leadership, He's a provider. The woman, designed by God as the left hemisphere, she's a help meet. She's not a piece of meat. She's a help meet. Now, I want to go quickly into the text of Mark 5 and 1. The term gatherings, which is the territory called Gadara. The Gadarenes, the country of the Gadara, or the Gadarenes, is located strategically southeast of Galilee on, on its right hemispheric side. In Matthew 8, 28, the country, and the term country means dwelling, citizenship, or paganism, the land of the Gergesenes in Matthew 8, 28, Gergesha, Geressa, ah, Gerasa, Gersara, Nisara. Interesting. The land of the Gergesenes is located on the left hemispheric side of Galilee. I will return back to the text later. But quickly, Matt, Mark 5 and 2, there's one man with an unclean spirit. Matthew 8, 28 are two individuals possessed with devils. Thank you, Pastor Lanier. That's three people. One possessed with an unclean spirit in Mark 5 and 2. And two individuals possessed with devils, Matthew 8, 28, those are three individuals. In the paganistic Wiccan system of Lucifer, there's a doctrine called triple witching. Triple witching. Demons attempting to possess the spirit Demons attempting to possess the soul and demons attempting to possess the body. Triple witching. The term pagan comes from the Latin word paganus, 
meaning a distinct community with an altered belief, the term dweller or dwellers means paganists, a pagan, a citizen, a civilian, from whence we get the Greek term paganismos, paganismos, P-A-G-A-N-I-S-M-U-S. You notice on Wikipedia and Pastor, uh, Colleen, if you're with us, please go to Wikipedia and type in triple deity. Let me get a drink of tea here. Listen. All of you can go to Wikipedia, especially Pastor Colleen, if you're with us, and type in the term triple deity. You notice there is a photo on your right-hand side, which is to the left of that Wikipedia page under triple deity. It shows the Greek goddess Hecate, H-E-C-A-T-E, the goddess of magic and spells the moon, the night crossroads, and a ghost. He cates, H-E-C-A-T-E, a goddess that's holding a torch in some photos. The chieftain witch of Thessaly, T-H-E-S-S-A-L-E-Y, in Greece, the demonic religion and doctrine of polytheism. Many gods and goddesses. The Statue of Liberty is a present day Diana, the goddess Diana. In Acts chapter 19, great to see you, uh, Apostle Ty Kim and Apostle Colada Kim. In the Roman Empire, the goddess Diana in Acts 19 is called Diva Triformis. Type that in on Google Images. Diva, D-I-V-A space tri, T-R-I space formis. F-O-R-M-I-S. Diva Triformis, remember, triple witching, is the goddess Diana who was venerated from the late 6th century. A three-formed goddess of Greek, Roman, and Persian demonology. Diana, a three-part witching goddess, is also named Luna, L-U-N-A, Triformis, T-R-I-F-O-R-M-I-S, lunar calendar, from January to December, back to January, these, this is the 12 month calendar given by the Gregories to the fallen ink, to, to fallen humanity, which is called fallen and fallen in a fallen animalistic system. When you, when we say fallen humanity, the spirituality, the supernaturality of God's original creation fell from the anointing down to an animalistic paradigm. So Luna Triformis is also called Mascara. Luna Triformis is also called Cosmetic. If you look on Wikipedia, 
and type in Diana and in parentheses mythology. Now do that now. You go to Wikipedia and type in on the search level at the top, Diana, and then in parentheses, mythology. The second photo down on your right, which would be to the left of the page, it will show a statue of Diana, Artemis, A-R-T-E-M-I-S. Diana Artemis, a transgender deity. Diana, female, Artemis, male, from the Roman Empire in a section of Rome called Pompeii, between 50 to 1 BC. Months ago, Pastor Sam sent me a, a photo of Jacob Rothschild. If you guys get an opportunity, go to google.com and great to see a pastor calling and type in on google.com please, Jacob Rothschild. Marina Abramovich. Oh Lord have mercy. Let me take my time. Go, <coughs> go to google.com and type in Jacob Rothschild, Marina Abramovich, a man, a witch, posing in front of a Satan summoning his legions. Google.com, Jacob Rothschild, Marina Abramovich, posing in front of of a Satan summoning his legions. Oh my God, thank you, Pastor Colleen. How much more out in the open can they be? You can also go to a second link, allow me to pronounce it, Ridelisk, R-I-D-E-L-I-K-E-S-K -E -E dot, X, Y, Z, forward slash product. In other words, Jacob Rothschild, Marina Abramovich, is posing in front of a Satan summoning his allegiance. The painting behind Jacob Rothschild, who is burning in hell, let me be careful. I don't want to get a strike or be taken down. And Marima, Marina Abramovich is the transgender being called Lilith Lucifer. Not just L-U-C-I-F-E-R, but L-U-C-Y-F-E-R. Who has now transformed himself into Satan, the devil. So, also on that link, R-I-D-E-L-I-K-E-S, ride like S-K, R-I-D-E-L-I-K-E-S-K -E -E dot X-Y-Z for a slash product. Or just type in Jacob Rothschild, Marina Abramovich, posing in front of a Satan summoning his legions. There is a link on that page at the top that you can click it, and it's in red. Jacob Rothschild, Marina Abramovich in red. The painting is Ashtar, Ishtarte, the goddess Diana, a multi-breasted demon who is also called Easter. The Immaculate Deception of Deception, Module 1, Volume 1. Now, in Acts 16, 16, 
There was a woman possessed with the spirit of divination. The first four letters of divination is divi, from which you get the term diva. Women never call yourselves diva. That's the name of Ashtar, Ashtarte, Ishtar, Ishtarte, the demon goddess of fertility in Egyptian, Babylonian, Persian, Greek, and Roman antiquity. The term divination also means python. There was a secret society, thank you, Pastor Shabazz, during the time of Christ, who called themselves the Pythonists. P-Y-T-H-O-N-E-S-S. Prostitutes who will also murder, murder men. Now, at one time, Mary of Magdala, called, <coughs> called Magdalene, was a part of the Python and Seeker Society, but you won't find that in the word because that was subtracted by the Vatican. Can I take my time tonight? The immaculate deception of deception. In Acts 19.27, I'm laying foundation. The goddess Diana is a multi-breasted demoness that was worshipped not just by the Roman in the Greek world, but by the entire world in Acts 19.27. <coughs> She's also called Lucretia the same name of the sister of Caesar Borgia. Diana is called Lucille, L-U-C-E-R-E, -E, from which you get the term Circe, C-I-R-C, apostrophe E, who was the first female goddess in Greek mythology. And the term Circe not only means circus, but it means church. Prior to the 325 AD conference in Nicene, Turkey, in Matthew chapter 16 to 18, Christ did not say the term church. Because the term, term church means Circe. The mother goddess, and not just the Greek and the Roman empires, but the mother goddess that absorbs energy. The term body of Christ was there. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. Church, Circe, circus. Christ did not say, upon this rock, I will build my Circe. Christ didn't say that. He didn't say, upon this rock, I will build my circus. Christ said, upon me, Christ the rock, I will build my body of apostolicity and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. There you go, Pastor Raphael. So Diana, Lucretia, Lunar, Lucinda, Lucifer, Lilith is the feminized side of a male Lucifer and Lucifer is the male side of the feminized Lilith or Lucifer, L-U-C-Y-F-E-R. In other words, the serpent is the first transgender being and the serpent is the first human. You got to stop. If you're new here to this class, I want you to hear me tonight. Nowhere. And I mean, nowhere in scripture will you see the term human because what does human mean, students? It means sea monster. 
In the 1948 Ballantine's Law Dictionary, it denotes human as sea monster or monster and never use the term youth as in naming your children because the term youth means cargo. We've been lied to. The immaculate deception of deception. So in Acts 19.27 is the goddess Diana. Uh, Pastor Colleen and, and everyone, please go to Wikipedia. See, I'm providing proof. This is to show me, Steve, on Wikipedia, Type in again, Diana, D-I-A-N-A, and then in parentheses, type in mythology. On that Wikipedia page, type in Diana, then type in, in parentheses, the term mythology. And Pastor Dave never used the word spell. Great to see you, Pastor Dave. Thank you, Pastor Colin. See, this is the show me state. So quickly, on that Wikipedia page, Diana, under in parentheses, mythology, under the section on that Wikipedia page, under triple goddess, remember in the text of Mark 5, one man possessed with an unclean spirit. Remember part of the text in Matthew 8, 28, Two people are possessed with devils, three. And then later in Acts, Acts 3 and 1, St. Peter and St. John go up to the temple called Beautiful at the ninth hour or three o'clock in the afternoon. Now in on that Wikipedia page, under Diana Mythology, meaning triple goddess, Diana Triformis is a huntress. Now, there is are two examples. In the first century, you'll see a picture on that Wikipedia page under Diana mythology. First century, uh, under triple goddess, First century BCE, a coin of denarius. The head of Diana, Nemorensis, Nemorensis, which is a transliteration into the French word Demorenshield. Listen, JFK, another topic for another day. The triple cult currency system of Babylon, Egypt, Greece, and Rome in the Phoenician empires. Please go to another Wikipedia page and type in the term hecat. I love teaching, H-E-C-A-T-E. Hecat is representative of the Statue of Liberty. <clears throat> a three deity being. The fifth photo down, see, no one's teaching this, Dr. Shabazz. The fifth photo down on that Wikipedia page under he got, he Kate, H E C A T E, the fifth photo down, which would be to your right and to the left of the page, is a gilt, G I L T, bronze called the Hecatean, H-E-K-A-T-A-I-O-N, the Hecatean during the first century in Rome. Triple witching is extra vitality. It represents an expiration date. It represents and I'm going to reveal something to you, Pastor Colleen and Pastors, all, all the pastors. My staff constantly sends me information, not just from New York, but I have a small staff here. 
they not only set up the bishop speaking uh, engagements, whether it's by I'm on some radio or podcast show every other day somewhere from around the world. And they said, Bishop, we must never use, get this, Pastor Grace, the term jargon again. Wait a minute, jargon, J-A-R-G-O-N. Jargon, according to the Maccabees, second volume, one of the documents that was taken out of God's word by the Vatican, jargon is a fallen angel, a spawn. Remember that movie years ago, Spawn, S-P-A-W-N? Jargon is a bastard demon. All demons are bastards who eats hell meat. Wait a minute now. That's the term jargon. But we don't know because we have never been taught this before. This is the immaculate deception of deception. Say there in the text of Mark 5 and 1 and Matthew 8, 28. Allow me to get a drink of tea here. Also, on another Wikipedia page, on wikipedia.com, type in triple witch hour, triple witching hour. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Type in triple witching hour that according to the world of wickedness, it is the last hour on a financial stock market exchange between three to four East Coast time. Now, I had confirmed this through some students that we have out of New York, Pastor Ellis. Some of them work, and I'm not going to name some of the, well, I'll name some of the firms, but I'm not going to tell you their names. Uh, AIG, okay, uh, Bank of America, uh, Chase JP, uh, Chase Morgan Manhattan, and they said, Bishop, the term triple witching hour, it represents the last hour on the New York Stock Exchange between three and four during the day. The term triple witching means index futures. Pastor Ellis Ewing, it blew my mind. The term triple witching means index options and stock options. This is financial occultism. The triple witching hour represents the triple Wiccan hour that comes from a language of witches called Peckerwood. I want you to hear me tonight. Listen, how many of you have heard of the term Peckerwood, meaning a sorcerer, meaning a male or female witch. There you go, Pastor Colleen. Peckerwood. It was originally called within the Anglo Saxon world in England during the early 1600s, Peckerwood, P I double C A wood. Then over the centuries, it was changed to Pecklewood. The immaculate deception of deception. No one's teaching this. Stay there in the text of Mark 5 and 1 in Matthew 8, 28. In the 1950s, a warlock by the name of Gerald Gardner created the term Wicca, W-I-C-A, which is now W-I-C-A, out of England. Gerard Gardner created the first Wiccan secret society in British history. 
which was which is now grown into the Alexandria in the Algard, A L G A R D, witchcraft. I want you to hear me tonight. Now, on yesterday, I was on a, a radio show uh, out of Helsinki, Finland, <coughs> an English radio show. And the host was asking me, Pastor uh, Kelly, well, Bishop, how do you perfect your craft? I said, wait a minute. Number one, allow me to correct you. This is what I this is what I told her. Allow me to correct you. I never used the term craft in relation. I sort of laugh at Pastor Colleen in relation to the giftings from the Christ. This is this is how people in the world talk. I said, I don't use the word craft, ma'am. I use the word gifting. The gifts of God don't need to be perfected because the gift giver, the Christ, is the perfect one. The perfection doesn't need to come through the gift. It needs to come from me. I need to be perfected. Oh, great to see you, Pastor Rick the immaculate deception of deception. And she said, well, I didn't know that bishop. The term witchcraft simply means manipulation, not just burning candles and seances. Those are the manifestations of witchcraft, which means manipulation. That's it, Pastor SSJ. Oh, my God. Listen, we're going to learn today, beginning with the bishop. You see, sin is a nature. Sin is not, is not only adultery and fornication and smoking and drinking and cussing. Those are the fruits or the manifestations of sin. But sin is a nature. Behold the Lamb of God who taketh away the sin or the fallen nature of Adam. So sin is a nature that begins with a mindset. Always remember this, students. When you want to change someone's life, you have to change this. Once this is changed, their entire life will change. The immaculate deception of deception. Great to see a pastor in Manoa, my daughter. Listen, I love teaching. Stay there in, Matt, in uh, Mark 5 and 1 and Matthew 8, 28. The term Trinity is a doctrine of devils. Let me say this again. You see, I am a real apostolic apostle. I am not one of these so-called apostles, well, we have to use wisdom, Bishop. We can't call, listen, if you cannot call out any demons, you're not an apostle. Thank you, Apostle Bird. And you're right, Pastor Colin, we never use the term spell. Christ did not create the term Trinity and neither did Christ create the Trinitarian doctrine in the term Trinity is nowhere to be found in the Holy Writ. Where did it come from? Of course, from, from the serpent, but also <laughs> the serpent translated that doctrine of demons to a man by the name of Arius. A-R-I-U-S, from which you get the term Arianism, A-R-I-A-N-I-S-M, or Germanic Arianism, who brought the demonic triple witching doctrine of three of Trinitarianism, 
from Arianism, from Arius, to the Nicene Council in 325 AD, which is the present day nation of Nicaea, Turkey. Arius left the apostolic oneness faith for money and was paid off by Constantine, his homosexual lover, Pope Sylvester, and the 365 bishops from around the world during the Roman Empire to introduce a doctrine of devils, which officially became a part of the state religion called Christianity. Arius taught that Christ is not truly divine. That's a lie. And Arius also taught that Christ is a created being into a threefold separate personality. A father, another a son, and the Holy, he calls it the Holy Ghost, Three separate persons. That's a doctrine of devils. That's not apostolic monotheism. It's not the oneness of God. Arianism, who also had taught Constantine the Great to incorporate this doctrine of demons called Trinitarianism, Arianism from Arius, who later taught a backslidden apostle who left the oneness apostolic faith, a man by the name of Tertullian, T-E-R-T-U-L-L-I-A-N. Tertullian had a true bishop, Proxius, P-R-A-X-E-A-S, to be assassinated because Proxius was exposing the Trinitarian doctrine both of Arius and Tertullian. And nowhere in scripture will you see the term Trinity and nowhere in scripture does it teach that God is a three God system of three personalities, no. Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group, we are an apostolic, Yeshua-only, oneness Pentecostal movement who believes that the fullness of the Godhead dwells in one person, Yeshua the Christ, who has divinely manifested himself not through three persons, but through three manifestations. Christ is the father of all creation. Christ is the sonship in the body. In other words, God the lamb became the lamb of God or stepped inside of a fleshly body called sonship or the lamb. And Christ is the Holy Spirit at the same time. Not three persons, but three manifestations of the apostles' doctrine, Acts 2.42, which is apostolic. Apostolos, ones who are sent to lay a Christ-centric foundation. Oh, I don't want to start preaching. Listen. The immaculate deception of deception. Leonardo da Vinci had created a three-part, three-witching sketch of three portraits of Cesare Borgia. Look it up on Google Images. Type in Leonardo da Vinci's three portrait sketches of Cesare Borgia that's also a part of a photo file on Wikipedia. 
Why a three-part tide water witching, triple witching spirit? They come in threes. Stay there in Mark 5 and 1 in Matthew 8, 28. The immaculate deception of deception. Type in on Google.com, and I believe this is on Pinterest. The lie that made God a mystery. The lie that made God a mystery or the pagan three, pagan three-headed trinity God. Type that in on Pinterest. Pagan three-headed trinity God. Pagan three-headed Trinity God, that's, you'll see the photo on Pinterest. I got the best staff in the world. That's Arianism. That's from Arius. That's from a corrupted bishop by the name of Tertullian. There's an opt-ed on medium.com, or just type in on google.com, the pagan origins of the Trinity, the pagan origins of the Trinity, opt-ed July 24th, 2022 on medium.com. It talks about the spring Equinox. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. I thank God for Pastor Colleen. The spring equinox. The goddess of fertility called Ostre. E O S T R E. It is a Christian pagan holiday. No, I didn't double talk. It is a Christian. Wait a minute, Bishop. Are we, we're not Christians. Let me go through this again in case some of you are brand new to this class. Oh, my God. Listen. Nowhere in Scripture did Christ command us to call ourselves Christian. And nowhere in Scripture does it teach that the apostles, the 12, the 70 in Luke 10 and 1, the 120 in the upper room in Acts 1, and the 3,000 on Pentecost in Acts 2. Well, Bishop, in Acts eleven twenty six, they were first called Christians at Antioch. Christ didn't call them that. Neither, I know this is radical. Well, who called them? <coughs> who named them to be Christians. Thank you, Pastor Ray. A man by the name of Claudius, who was not only the ruler, the emperor of Rome in during the time of Acts 1126, but Claudius was also, ladies and gentlemen, the governor over Antioch. Because Claudius in the Roman Empire needed to create a tax bracket code, which is your 501c3 today. The term Christian doesn't mean Christ-like. It actually means pro-Rome or pro-Antichrist. Christian has a twofold meaning. Number one, it means a tax bracket code. Rome needed to tax the true body of Christ, the apostolic, from Acts 2. And the second meaning of Christian comes from the Vatican term, which is now a French term called Cretan, C-R-E-T-I-N, or Cretian, C-R-E-T-I-A-N, which means idiot. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Christian not only means a tax bracket code, but Christian means Cretan or Cretian, 
an imbecile, a fool. Thank you, Pastor Emma. An idiot. Christ did not save you to call yourselves an idiot. Christ did not save you to call yourself a circus, a church, Circe, and neither did Christ call you to be a tax bracket code. You've been lied to. We've been lied to. So stop calling yourself Christian. Well, Bishop, what do I call myself? You are an apostolic man of God, brothers. You are an apostolic woman of God, sisters. You're a child of the Christ. But you've been fooled by the religious deep state calling yourself Christian. You're not a tax bracket code. Neither are you, ladies and gentlemen, an imbecile or an idiot. Oh, Lord, let me wipe some of the anointing. <laughs> Listen, you see, this class, I got to tell you, this class, this type of teaching is not for everyone. Do you understand? It is not. This teaching, great to see you, Pastor Kofi, is, is for super red pill students. The Immaculate Deception of Deception. And stop saying, oh, I'm a part of Christianity. You're not a tax bracket code. You're not an idiot, idiot or imbecile. And the term anity, A-N-I-T-Y, means to be Vaticanized. The, so the term Christian was not commanded by Christ. He didn't tell you to call yourself Christian, and neither did Christ tell you to preach Christianity. That's Rome. And you're not of the body of Circe, the goddess of the Greek empire, the one who absorbs energy called the church. You are the body of Christ, not the Roman church. This is gonna take time because a lot of us, listen, we've been indoctrinated all of our lives, but the lie is exposed in the jig is up. The immaculate deception of deception. Let me get a drink of tea here. Listen. Thank you, Pastor Sam. Say there in Mark 5 and 1 and Matthew 8, 28. The pagan origins of Trinity and uh, Austre, E-O-S-T-R-E, is a Christian holiday. Not an apostolic, but a Christian holiday. Wait a minute now. Now notice the term Austre. O-E-O-S-T-R-E, -E, which is the Roman Empire Passover. Not the apostolic Passover called Pentecost of Jubilees. See, this is what Satan does. He attempts to take the apostolic, apostolicity. And Satan will take away a word out of the apostolic, out of Pentecostalism, and will insert Christian Christianity, Circe, church, and will insert the term Austre, O E O S T R E, which means estrogen. Listen, sisters, listen, listen. You see, nowhere in scripture, oh Lord have mercy, nowhere. Nowhere in scripture will you see the term estrogen. Estrogen in Greek and Babylonian mythology 
is the goddess of fire. Burning sensation. Ecstasy. So Austria, estrogen, celebrating menopause called Easter. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Easter. Now, if you remember a part of the text, which is, uh, of course, the main text, the central key verse, in Acts 12 and 4. And do me a favor, go to Acts 12 and 4, which is the key verse today. And hear ye the word of the Lord. And when he, okay, the Roman Empire, Herod, had apprehended, apprehended St. Peter, he put St. Peter in prison and delivered him to the four Cordonians, wait a minute now, of soldiers to keep him intending after Eshtar, Eshtarte, Austre, Estrogen. <laughs> wait a minute now. To bring Peter forth to the people, but wanted to take Peter with Austre, E O S T R E, Estrogen. The celebration of menopause through fertility called Easter. Who put that term Easter in Acts 12 and 4? It was not St. Luke the Apostle. It was Constantine the Great and his lover, Pope Sylvester, Arius, and the 365 bishops of Rome, okay, took out the term, okay, the apostolic, because Peter was not subjugated to any jackrabbits, jelly beans, <laughs> and fertility drugs or demons. Peter walked in apostolicity. But Rome put in the term Easter. A star was in the east. The Magi came from the east and had the mindset of Easter. Oh, Lord have mercy. Estarte, estrogen. Easter also means estrus, E-S-T-R-U-S. -S. The first three letters is the acronym for establish, establishment, E-S-T, Ostros, O-I-S-T-R-O-S. -S. Stay there in Acts 12 and 4. The period of fertility for female mammals or animals. Estrogens, the festival established by Babylon, established later by Greece and Rome. Easter was also to be the festival of contraceptives. I want you to hear me tonight. No one's teaching this. Contra, the contras, septives, hormone replacement, endocrine system, Babylon, Greek, and Rome. You're dealing with demons. By the time I get done tonight, you will never look at a chocolate bunny rabbit and you will never buy one to put one on your coffee table. Jelly beans, Easter eggs, it's all paganistic. It's all demonic. Remember triple witching? Also can be seen in Greek and Roman mythology 
as the term Thrace, T-H-R-A-C-E, Thrace, on Wikipedia, parentheses is mythology, is the goddess of heroin and sorcery. Pastor Kelly, pray for me. Wait a minute. Thrace, Trinity, three individuals, one possessed with an unclean spirit in the text of Mark 5, 1 and 2. Two individuals possessed with devils in Matthew 8, 28. Thrace, T-H-R-A-C-E, triple witching, is the goddess of heroin, drugs, and sorcery. She's the daughter of Oceanos, O-C-E-A-N-U-S. Nowhere in Genesis 1 did it say that God created the oceans. It said God created the seas. Not from the name of a Greek god goddess called Oceanos. The sister of Europa, Europe. According, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to wipe some of the anointing off. Is your minds blown tonight? I said, is your minds blown? Put up those faces if your minds are blown tonight. Oh, Lord, have mercy. The immaculate deception of deception. You're getting a world-class education. Stay there in Matthew 12 and 4. Highlight this word term Easter, estrogen. According to the Roman historian, Valerius Maximus, Maximus said in 139 BCE that the term Easter is was the Ostara, O-S-T-A-R-A, Ostara, which means Wiccan in British, was the Ostara or Wiccan holiday of the celebration of fertility. Austre, O-E-O-S-T-R-E, -E, estrogen, pagan fertility, the goddess of human or animalistic consumption and crops whose colors are green, yellow, and purple. Easter eggs, jackrabbits, jelly beans, all of it has crept itself into the apostolic, but it's gone after tonight's teaching. The Immaculate Deception of Deception. The pagan, it gets deeper here, the pagan origins of Easter, Austre, E-O-S-T-R-E, -E, or estrogen. Ashtar, Ashtarte, Egyptian, Babylonian, and Phoenician god, demon. Ishtar, I-S-T, I-S-H-T-A-R, Ishtarte, the Babylonian, Mesopotamian, and Persian goddess of fertility. If you get an opportunity, teach Holy Spirit. Type in on google.com occult and obscure gastrointestinal bleeding. Wait a minute, wait a minute now. It's on the NIH, the National Institutes of Health website connected to the federal government. Occult and obscure gastrointestinal bleeding. Notice the term occult. Also type in on google.com Occult cervical 
Ovosian, A V U L S I O N, Ovosian, rare case of vaginal bleeding. I had to be careful. Occult cervical avulsion, rare case of V, vaginal bleeding. Occult. You'll find that on the website, Hindawa, H-I-N-D-A-W-I. The occult and obscure gastrointestinal bleeding caused by demonic contact, contact and the occult cervical avulsion, rare case of the bleeding. And by the way, women of God, the term vaginal is nowhere to be found in scripture. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. You see, this is to show me, Steve. You got to show people. The term vaginal is a name of a goddess in the family of Diva Triformis in Greek mythology. Let's like Sneenip or Pinus, and I'm being vague on purpose. The entity that, that's been assigned to manhood in Greek and Roman law in mythology, it's not the name of a male, it's the name of a female politician. And then the term that's been assigned to women by the medical deep state, clitoris, it's not the name of a female in Greek and Roman mythology and Greek and Roman law. Clitoris is the name of a male politician but you don't know. This is called inversion. And 90% of the names of body parts were not named by God. See, this is where you get the term addiction. Satan takes something that is holy that God created and tries to pervert it by the addition of untheological, unapostolic terms that carries curses. Extra sensory perception. So this is what the devil does. He'll take discernment and with inside of discernment, the, the twins of discernment is intuition and perception. And Satan will add to it extra sensory perception, which is not discernment, but it's luciferic reading. Oh my God. Listen, nobody has the intestinal fortitude that teaches Pastor Rick. <laughs> Listen, let me get a drink of tea. Oh, you see, Pastor Harris, I, I got something to confess. What you just said, Pastor Harris, was prophetical. God spoke to me when we first started the global master class. He said, Bishop, it's time. It is time to re-educate the world by first re-educating the body of Christ. And there has to be a new language. That's why I'm on the letter O as far as my dictionary. Said her in not just in Mark 5 and 1, Matthew 8 28, the key verse being in Acts 12 and 4. I gotta set the apostolic record straight. Thank you, Pastor Carling. I love that. Stay there in Acts 12 and 4. Easter, Ashtar, Ashtarde, Ishtar, Ishtarde. The ancient goddess demon called Incubi. Oh, Lord, it's going to get deep now. Listen, let me get my apostolic gangster lean on. Ashtar. Ashtarte means Incubi. How 
many of you have heard of the the object in the maternity ward called incubation? Am I right? Is that the name of where they put babies in? And correct me if I'm wrong, it may be under another term. Incubator. Thank you, Pastor Rita. Incubator. Wait a minute. Well, why call it an incubator? That's the offspring of the term incubi, incubation, incubator, incubus is a male demon presents itself as a nightmare demon in order to destroy women during their dreams. I want you to hear me tonight. Incubi, incubation period, incubator, incubus, a male demon, a nightmare demon of the night that violates women. Can I teach? That's Ashtar. But Ishtar, I-S-H-T-A-R, also denotes the term succubi. S-U-C-C-U-B-I, succubation, succubator, succubus, a female demon that presents herself as a nightmare in violating men during the night. Oh, Lord. Only apostles teach this. Incubation. A child put in is not the object. It's the name that's been attached to it that's bringing curses on every child that's ever been born since the term incubator was applied to that entity. So you mothers, and if you got children just being just born, and, and if you are a grandmother or a grandfather, you better listen. You better tell that nurse, here's the anointed. Anoint, I, I'm serious. Incubator. Incubus, a male demon that violates women in their dreams. Succubus, succubi, a female demon that terrorizes and violates men in their dreams at night. Born into curses, Pastor Sam. Incubi. I decapitate that demon in Yeshua's holy name. Succubi, I decapitate that demon in Yeshua, Yeshua's holy name. I rebuke, I bind down, I choke in incubi. I choke succubi. I choke Ashtar. I choke Ishtar. And I destroy them in Yeshua's holy name. You better give God a clap, praise and Listen, oh my God, listen, this is heavy now. Say they're in Acts 12 and 4. In my conclusion, oh, it gets deeper. The immaculate deception of deception. If you ever look up the term nightmare demon on Google Images, it's sitting on top of a woman or a man. Don't say the word. I can say the word because I've already prayed for, over us. Ashtar, the feminized version, listen, the feminized version of the male Ishtar. And Ishtar, the male version of the feminized Ashtar, transsexual disorientation. Holding instruments, if you look on Google Images, Ashtar or Ishtar, holding two instruments, one called incubation, the other one called succubation. Ashtar, Ishtar, Easter, estrogen are the guardians of sacred harlots. The guardians, okay, your Jack Black 
chocolate bunny rabbits, jelly beans, Easter egg hunts. It's all demonic. And you're opening up your life and the life of your child for demonic possession. Ashtar, Ishtar, holding two instruments, incubation and succubation, the guardians of sacred harlots, the fertility of whores. I got to be the fertility of whoredom. Another term for Austre, O E O S T R E, estrogen, or Easter. Thank you, Dr. Bird. Is there are three triple witching entities of Easter? You can look up on Google Images. One is called Veron the Veronsi, the, Ver the Veronnais with the E silent. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The E R O N E S E S, the Veronis design to the Figurot, F I G U A R T S a mini Eshtar, and three, the Azor, A-Z-U-R-E, green, home decor. Remember in the body of the text, one man possessed with an unclean spirit, Mark 5 1. Two individuals possessed with devils, Matthew 8, 28, 3. St. Peter and John in Acts 3 and 1, 3 came during the ninth hour of the third hour of that day to cast out the three triple four witching spirit that was binding not just the man physically, but his bones as well. And Acts 12 and 4, Ashtar, Ostre, Estrogen, Incubi, Succubi, Demons. If you get an opportunity, students, beginning quickly here, and we're almost done here tonight, with Pastor Colleen, go to google.com and type in the Ishtar Gate of Babylon. Ishtar, I-S-H-T-A-R, the Ishtar Gate of Babylon. It's on the website wmf.org slash project slash Ishtar Gate Babylon. Or just type in the Ishtar Gate Babylon, the Ishtar Gate of Babylon. The Ishtar Gate of Babylon, wmf.org. It talks about Nimrod. Thank you, Pastor Colin. You see, this is to show me. See, you got to show people. And I don't blame people. Show me Nimrod, who married his own mother, Semiramis, which means seminary. No apostolic college or university school of apostles and prophets and bishops should ever call themselves seminary, which also means semiramis, which means seminary. Nimrod married his own mother, Semiramis, and she conceived the son by the name of Temaz, T-A-M-M-U-Z, born on December 25th. We have been lied to. It's sick, Pastor. Sick. We've been lied to. Christ was not born on December 25th. Christ was born during the time of the harvest, between September and November, specifically on October 7th. What happened on October 7th last year? Here comes Antichrist. 
<coughs> counterfeit. Whatever Christ creates in truth, Satan brings a counterfeit. Here we go, Pastor Hit. Nimrod, a counterfeit father. Semiramis, counterfeit spirit called Sophia Kundalini. Temaz, a counterfeit son. You see where I'm going with this. Nimrod, which means Nimrodic, chains, tying up people in beds. That's Nimrod. Married his own mother, Semiramis, and through incest, had a son by the name of Temaz, who is now worshiped and venerated every Christmas. Christ has nothing to do with Christmas. Christ has nothing to do with Easter or Valentine's, who was St. Valentine, who died of AIDS of immune deficiency syndrome in 1666 in Rome, who was to, used to pass out his address to other homosexual men. This is where you get the Valentine's Day card from. It's all demonic in Halloween, in Satan's cult. All of it is garbage. Pastor uh, Colleen sent me some powerful pictures. I believe was it yesterday, Pastor Colleen? Uh, there's a magazine called Wicca or Wiccan Magazine. Wicca or Wiccan Magazine. And I did, I had my staff to look up to see who owns Wicca or Wiccan Magazine. Can, can I teach? Now, do you guys remember <coughs> the state of Israel being incorporated out of London? The British UK uh, website that shows all companies being incorporated. Wicca or Wicca magazine, we are told, is now a dissolved corporation out of England whose address is owned by the British crown. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You, you're not ready for this. Whose address, ladies and gentlemen, is owned by the British crown. Now, Wicca magazine has on the front of it, and, and matter of fact, it, it, the company is not dissolved. It shows Eshtar, Austre, O-S-E-O-S-T-R-E, -E, Easter, a woman holding a, a jackrabbit and a basket of flowers. Wicca, Wiccan, man, it's demonic. I was told today, oh Lord, I wish I had time by a student via email, a student who lives in Sacramento. She said she used to be a witch and she was delivered apostolically three years ago through the bishop's uh, teaching. And she was immersed in Yeshua's holy name, Acts 2.38, and filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking other tongues as the Spirit of the Lord would give her uh, that gave her the utterance. She said to me in an email uh, sent to me by our office in New York that there is a witchcraft code called Kit Kat. I said, wait a minute, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, how do you, Kit Kat, K-I-T dash C-A-T. That's a code that witches use meaning someone has been sacrificed, namely a child. I'll tell you one thing, I'm not going to get any more Kit Kat bars. <laughs> Can I teach? <coughs> See, the devil doesn't want me to teach this. It's all fecal matter. 
uh, Pastor, is your minds blown? Put up those faces if your minds are blown tonight. Stay there in Acts 12 and 4. Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tamaz. As we move forward, the pagan origin of Easter, it's on Pinterest. The pagan origin of Easter. Oh, Lord have mercy. Pastor Sam. Woo! My spiritual father said the same thing some years ago. Dr. Ivory Hopkins, pound for pound, the most powerful deliverance minister on this earth, said that demons not only love chocolate, he says they are chocolate. The pagan origin of Easter, part two on Pinterest. There are two photos the pagan origin of Easter, the under that sentence is part two, then the pound letter, Pinterest, it has two photos. One photo, Baal Balfamet, and the other photo, Pastor Mark Williams, right beside it, is Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tamaz. So we go from jelly beans, jackrabbits, to Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tamaz, the Pagan Origin of Easter, Part 2, on Pinterest. Another link that my staff out of New York sent, it's on Pinterest, just the photos. Type the cycle of life, the cycle of life, the Baal cycle, the cycle of life, or the cycle of of the Baal cycle, thank you, Holy Spirit, the cycle of the Baal, B-A-A-L cycle, it shows the term Trinity, Nimrod, the sun god demon, Semiramis, the moon goddess of Babylon, Temaz, the Antichrist, a counterfeit sonship. Three witching deities. In my conclusion, the immaculate deception of deception. Stay there, please, in Acts 12 and 4. I got to wipe. Listen, oh, Lord, have mercy. I said, Lord, are, are they ready for this? What am I about? God, you see, God rebuked me this morning in prayer. He said, Bishop, you got to stop asking me that. I decide, Bishop, who is ready and who is not, not you. I said, yes, sir. Write this down. God said to me, Pastor Sam, Pastor April, Pastor Grace, Pastor Colleen, Pastor... Jody Bird, where did the term, the term bishop, where did the term Bible originate? We're not talking about God's word is God's word. It's the mind of Christ. Christ says, I'm not talking about my own word. I'm talking about, here we go, Pastor Colleen. Where did the origin, Bishop, of the term Bible that's on the front of my word come from? And I couldn't, I couldn't give God an answer. God says, look it up. And I talk to my staff, and I normally don't do this on the class day, but I'll call one of my staff members to look up the history of where the word Bible came from. A man by the name of John 
Chrysidum, C H R Y S T O M, had taken the Greek Phoenician term, La Biblia, B I B L I A, and also took the term Ta. T A Biblia, B I B L I A, which is a Phoenician Greek term, the books. The term La Biblia, Ta Biblia, came up out of the Phoenician port city of Gebal, G E B A L, between 386 to 388 AD, or after the common era of Christ, a city port territory called Byblos, B-Y-B-L-O-S, which is a Greek Hellenistic term meaning papyrus or paper, P-A-P-Y-R-U-S or Bublos, B-U-B-L-O-S. God says, dig deeper, Bishop. The term Bublos, a section of Greece, then a part of the Phoenician Empire, Bublos, B-Y-B-L-O-S, is the Phoenician god called El, E-L, which was the main god, small g-o-d, of Byblos or Tabiblia. Now follow me close as I follow Christ. Byblos, B-Y-B-L-O-S, were worshipers of El Baalat, E L dash B double A L A T, including the god L, E L, including the god small g. Adonis, A-D-O-N-I-S, three gods, El, El Belat, Adonis, three, here you goes your three again, three in the text, one possessed with an unclean spirit in Matthew, in Mark 5 and 2, two possessed with devils in Matthew 8, 28, Peter going to the temple in Acts 3 and 1, during the ninth hour of the day or three o'clock during the day. El El Berlet, Adonis, three gods told me today, remember Bishop, three witching system where the citizens of Byblos had worshiped, but John Christendom who was at one time in prison in Byblos, took the Phoenician and Greek name of Tabiblia, which means the books, and their main god in the Greek and Phoenician empires, even during the time of John Chrysostom, between 386 to 388 AD, was El, El Baalat, B double L L L A T, and Adonis. God says it gets deeper, Bishop. The Greeks equate Byblos, B Y B L O S to the Greek god called Kronos. 
Thank you, Pastor. It's called this. This is what I'm talking. Thank you, Pastor Barry. You see, oh Lord, have mercy. It's called the Holy Scriptures. And the term Bible, it comes radical teaching. The term Bible must be removed as the title of God's word. And it should be called the mind of Christ. The Holy Scriptures of the mind of Christ and not of the Greek Phoenician God, El Balak. No one on this earth has taught this. I know, wait a minute now. And Bible's El Belat also means chronos, chronic, chronic fatigue, chronology. It's called the Holy Scriptures, not Biblios, La Biblia, Ta Biblia. The God of, of the Phoenician. No, Christ has nothing to do. I know this is mind blowing. Byblos, B Y B L O S, or Byblus, B Y B L U S, Papyrite during the Greek and Phoenician empires. And Byblos is now located 26 miles north of Beirut, Lebanon. Go to Wikipedia. I gotta get a chance. <laughs> Listen. The term has to be, this is what I'm saying. Now there's gonna be, oh, this is trying to change. I'm not trying to change the word. The word of God is forever unchangeable. It's holy. My assignment to the theological world is to remove the term, the Bible from the top, from the cover and replace it with the mind of Christ, the Holy Scriptures. Go to Wikipedia and please, uh, Pastor Colleen, type in the word L, E L. Then right beside it, in parentheses, type deity. All of you guys can go there as well. Wikipedia.com, type in, on the top of Wikipedia, of the new Wikipedia page, L-E-L, -E then in parentheses, type deity. Thank you, Pastor April. D-E-I-T-Y. You see, this is the show me stage. Mm. Top Biblia, the books. Notice the second photo down, which would be to your right, which would be to the left of that Wikipedia page under L E L, then deity in parentheses. It's right there. The link is right there, right beside Pastor Colleen's name. The second photo down to your right. It shows the God, G-O-D-L, or Gebel, G-E-B-E-L, dash R, A-L, dash Iraq, A-R-A-K. We're told by Greek and Roman and Phoenician scholars that the entity coming from the body of El, El Belat, O Gibel, is a knife, but is actually a body part. I want you to hear me tonight. Why would John Christendom in the entire theological world choose the term to Biblia is a phallic symbol, Pastor Colleen. That's their God of both Greek, Roman, and Phoenician empires with a phallic symbol pointing out that's the name on the cover of God's word. Oh my, you're not ready. Listen. We have been lied to when I, listen, 
I explained that to my staff even deeper. It, it they couldn't sit down. Mind blowing. Why would John Christendom, the Vatican, in the entire history or historicity of the theological world, name God's word on the cover, the Bible, La Orta Biblia, after the main god of the Phoenician and Greek empires, El Baalat, who has the phallic symbol on the Wikipedia. See, God just told me, Bishop, they're ready. Had you ever heard this before? John Chrysostom, C-R-Y-S-O-T-O-M, had placed the term the Bible, la Biblia, ta Biblia, the books, but in actuality, it's the name of the main god of the Greek and Phoenician empires, El Baalat. The picture is on the Wikipedia page under El, then deity in parentheses. <coughs> the second photo down on your right to the left of the page is the Gebel al al -Rak, El God of Tabiblia with a phallic symbol sticking out. And that is my end tonight after one hour, 56 minutes and 55 seconds of Marja 1, Volume 1, The Immaculate Deception of Deception, and I thank you. <laughs> Have you ever heard anyone, t listen, there's going to be people, Apostle Ty, or he, Bishop Israel, I'm not, you can't change God's holy word. God's word is perfect. It's his mind. I'm talking about the term, the tabiblia on the, you see, this is where it gets back to the satanic deception that whatever God creates in truth, his word, Satan brain, Pastor Kelly, it's time for the greatest revolution in the history of systematic theology. One more, um, one more opt-in. Matter of fact, if you guys get time, just typing on, on Google.com, and I'm not going to teach this, just typing on Google.com, Glossary of Demon Speak. Glossary of Demon Speak. A theologian by the name of Dr. Carrie D. Miller, Carrie D. Miller. Dot com glossary of demons speak that phallic symbol of ta biblia the god of biblios of both the greek and the phoenician empires that you see also on that wikipedia page under l then deity on the glossary of demons speak op-ed july 16 2019 it gives the name of the phallic symbol, Pinus. Have you ever heard anyone teach this before? Especially why that term, the Bible, la Biblia, ta Biblia, was added. We've been lied to. God's word is perfect, is forever settled in the heavens. This is the Holy Scriptures. My issue is the term, the Bible. It must be removed, Pastor April, and there has to be an international conference of apostles and bishops like myself who must convene somewhere, maybe in Los Angeles and New York in the next two to three years.
and add not just the 45 missing documents of the word, add it back to the Holy Scriptures, but we must remove the term the Bible and put, put it in its place, the mind of Christ, the Holy Scriptures. Thank you for being with the bishop tonight. Was your minds blown? Put up those faces. I dare you. I double dare you. Put up those faces if your minds were blown tonight. I wanted to say that for the last, <laughs> okay? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, listen, I even called a good friend of mine, a known pastor, well-known pastor, um, out of Uganda. It blew his mind. He said, Bishop, I I'm wrecked. I won't be able to sleep tonight. And that is it of module one, of volume one of the immaculate deception of deception. In the term, the immaculate conception is nowhere to be found in scripture. The term immaculate Conception, let me say this again. The term immaculate conception is nowhere to be found in scripture because Pope Pius IX in 1854 in Rome, Italy, a part of the Vatican papacy system, created a papal bull on December 8th, 1854, in order to worship the deity of the mother of God called Mary. That's demonic. We're not here to worship Mary. We are here to worship Yeshua, Hamashiach, Yeshua the Christ. So yes, Christ was born through a 17 year old black Jewish girl a virgin. Yes, and I'm, people don't like me saying the word black, and they get so upset. Let's teach truth. Yes, Christ was born through a 17-year-old virgin, pure and clean, named Mary, Mary Amba, okay? Yes, Christ was born in complete perfection. Yes, Christ was perfect. Born through a holy virgin by the name, and you look, look up the Russian vaults. Uh, President Putin is a patriot. Let me get off of it. I don't want to get a strike or be taken down. He's releasing. Do you know President Putin is releasing the photos of the black Christ, the apostles black, Mary black, because Russia has the truth, not pictures of the apostles looking like the Beatles and Caesarea Borgia, a homosexual, okay? And that Salvador Mande, who is Caesarea, not that crap. Listen, the immaculate conception the terms, the immaculate conception is nowhere to be found in scripture because it was created and contacted by Rome in 1854 through Pope Pius IX, the same Pope who would force our nation to be a corporation in 1871 through the act of 1871. Stop saying the term immaculate conception. Yes, Christ was born through a virgin. Yes, through a 17-year-old black Hebrew girl who was holy and perfect. And yes, Christ lived for 33 and one half years without sin, spot, or wrinkle. But the term, just like the Bible, just like the term immaculate conception was added by Satan through Rome to contaminate the birth of the Christ through the womb of Mary. Thank you guys for being with the bishop tonight. Have you ever heard anyone teach this, especially about top Biblia or the origins of the term Bible? No one. 
We need your financial help. All of the moderators, please, right now, type in paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. Oh, I'm telling you right now, Pastor Colleen, Pastor Sam, there's an anointing here. Paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. Paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. No jackrabbits, no jelly beans, no Easter egg, none of that crap. Here at Global Spirit Evolution Media Group, there is no jackrabbits, no jelly beans, no Easter egg hunts, no Christmas trees, okay? With testicular fortitude swinging from the tree, none of that crap is here in the apostolic. When you come into the apostolic kingdom of the Christ, Christmas has to go, Easter, Halloween, St. Patrick's Day. I was invited recently um, by Connor McGregor's people. I love that, brother, man. <coughs> to come to an event this past Sunday. And Pastor Sippy, I had to respectfully decline because the Holy Spirit says that's St. Patrick's Day. It's all demonic. PayPal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. Right beside Pastor Sippy's name. Right beside Pastor Colleen's name. Right beside Pastor True Witness name. Right beside Pastor Emma Knowles name. Take this on your finger. Whether you have a desktop, laptop. Great to see you, woman of God. Pastor Sister Laura, love you in Christ, woman of God. Pastor Charity, all you guys. Take this on your finger and click on paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group, paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. Whether you have a desktop, laptop, uh, tablet, Apple, Chrome tablet, um, Android, iPhone, or Apple Watch, okay? Uh, please click on the PayPal link. After you click on the PayPal link, okay, then click send. Don't click request, click send and plant the Lord's tithe, okay? The Lord's tithe is holy apostolically. If your gross, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is 3,000, then the Lord's tithe is 300. If your gross is 2,000, then the Lord's tithe is 200. If your gross is 1,000, then the Lord's tithe is 100. Do that right now. Plant the Lord's tithe, okay? And in the same transaction, in the same transaction, uh, listen, you guys got to stay concentrated, okay? Stay concentrated, okay, Pastor Golden. In the same transaction, plant $100 or more, $100, $200, $300, 500 Listen, as Pastor Queen says, you should be like popcorn, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 800. Three of you give $1,000. We got um, spiritual sons and daughters in the entertainment industry. Um, we, got, we got now two publicists here in Hollywood who are students. No, I'm not going to tell you their names, okay? I got to protect them, <coughs> okay? Because I'm a threat out here. Do you understand? Um, we got uh, sons who play in the NFL, NHL. Um, praise God. Three spiritual sons who play in the NHL. Um, a few spiritual sons who play uh, on the New York Yankees baseball team. One plays on their farm league, their farm club that's under the New York Yankees. This is a global movement. They give $1,000 each week because they can uh, afford it. Okay. Oh, my, listen, listen, you guys got to be, con listen, you see, in a time, you can tell I'm agitating demons, okay? You can tell. Listen, we're talking about the Lord's tithe, okay? We're talking about Christ the Rock, not Rock Johnson. Listen, also send your uh, checks and money orders. Thank you, Pastor Colleen, to Larry Gators or Bishop Larry Gators or Larry Gators P.O. Box. 161 Lomina, California, 90717, okay? Listen, uh, look, demons gone, you're gone. You see, this is what happens 
when you're agitating demons. These demons are upset because I agitated them. Don't come in here with your crap. You're gone, okay? PayPal.me forward slash GSR or Media Group. Now get them back to our PO box. Send your checks or money orders to uh, Bishop Larry Gators or Larry Gators, P.O. Box 161, Lomita, California, 90717. Again, and care of Larry Gators or Bishop Larry Gators, P.O. Box 161, Lomita, California, 90717. When you're uh, sending uh, your money orders, please get a money order from your post office, not from Tories or us, not, listen, please, okay? Uh, not from Western Union. You got to listen, okay? Uh, but the rest of you, please uh, go to paypal.me for slash GS or Armina Group. Now, thank you, Pastor True Witness. We also have a cash app. Praise God. Our cash app link right beside Pastor True Witness uh, Ministries name is dollar sign then Global Revolution 1. Uh, True Witness, if you can type that in again, dollar sign Global Revolution 1. Global Revolution is all upper cap capitalized letters. That's our cash app. The rest of you, please go to paypal.me forward slash GSR Media Group. Paypal.me forward slash GSR Media Group. God bless you, uh, Pastor Annette. Great to see you, woman of God. God bless you, Sister Rebecca. We love you. We love you guys. We love you. Oh, my God. Listen, Inland Valley, San Bernardino is in the house. God bless you. Uh, San Bernardino, California native. God bless you, uh, Sister Rebecca. Welcome to the Global Spiritual Revolution Meeting of Los Angeles, New York. Okay. Our cash app in our conclusion is uh, dollar sign then Global Revolution 1. Dollar sign then Global Revolution 1. Global Revolution is all upper cap. Uh, Capitalize the letters, dollar sign thing, Global Revolution 1. Uh, Y'all tap on that like button. Thank you, Pastor Sippy. Do that right now. Increase our algorithm, um, you know, support throughout the world, okay? Oh, I love my bishop. I, oh, I love you too, Pastor Wally Tech. Love you. Love you, man of God. Uh, and, and lastly, right beside Pastor Colleen's name, paypal.me for slash GSRR media group, okay? And, and Bishop, this fake Obama seems to be up to some, he's up to something, Pastor Sam. These demons on the left, they want to be in power so bad, okay? There's a sister, a true patriot, I think on YouTube or Twitter, and she calls herself the handler, Okay. Uh, I don't know if she used to work for the Biden administration. She's she's mocking not just Joe Biden, but she's mocking and perfectly mocking Kamala Harris. Okay, word salad Kamala Harris. Okay, listen, uh, Obama. Listen, and uh, Obama. We know what happened between you, okay, and your chef. We know the truth, okay, because the next day he was golfing. I believe it was like. Um, a band-aid either over his face or his hand, okay? Over Obama's face or hand. We know the truth, Obama, okay? And no weapon that's formed against President Trump shall prosper. Please forgive me. I'm about ready to blow my nose. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. You see, what they're up to, Pastor Sam, it's not going to work. OK, because black people are waking up the migrant crisis. It's a scam. Do you know here in California, they are beginning to hire. I want you to listen to me here in California. They're beginning to hire. Illegal immigrants to work in the LAPD. Did you know that? In the LAPD, I had a, I went to a private event. I told you guys about this, I think, a week or two ago. I went to a private event at a mansion in Hollywood, in uh, in West Hollywood, at the premiere of the uh, Doom 2 movie. Mississippi met a lot of people from Warner Brothers, a city engineer for the uh, for, for the city of LA, 
uh, an ardent supporter of President Trump. He said, Bishop, do you know that uh, Governor Gavin Newsom has passed state law legislation allowing legal immigrants not just to carry a gun, but illegal immigrants to join the police department. You got 45,000 vets on the street who can't get a gun, who can't get a job for the LAPD or for the New York police or any. This is madness, man. Okay. The Rampart Division prop, oh, it does pass a Rebecca. The Rampart Division, they've been corrupted since the 80s, okay? Since the crack cocaine epidemic. I got friends, true patriot brothers and sisters who work for the LAPD, and they said, Bishop, we are about ready to retire because we're sick and tired of the crap coming out of Sacramento, okay? From Governor Gavin Newsom. Giving illegal aliens, not just a gun, not just thousands of dollars each month in housing and food, but you're giving them a job to be a cop? Stop, okay? This is a mess. It's a mess. And do you know, Pastor Sam, uh, I know you guys have been looking at the news, and I'll let you guys go. Um, in Chicago, Black folk are disgusted, Pastor uh, Dave, because they've been voting Democrat all of their lives. But you know who they're going to vote for this time? President Trump. And you know why? Because the mayor of Chicago is corrupt. Listen, <laughs> I'm not against anyone who wants to come into this country, but you got to come in right. Do you understand the... <laughs> the mayor of Chicago. It's corrupt. What about our poor vets, Pastor Sippy? 45,000 homeless veterans who bled and suffered in wars. For what? To have an illegal immigrant coming over? Okay? To shoot, rape, pillage, and I'm not saying every illegal immigrant does this. And the only reason why the Biden administration is allowing this is votes. That's all it is. Okay? Candace Owens was right when she said uh, a couple of months ago that the black vote is being replaced by the vote of the illegal immigrant. They're trying to push us out past Mississippi. But you got word salad. <laughs> Kamala Harris, she says she's ready. <laughs> and these witches on The View are supporting Kamala Harris. You know, uh, uh, the foundation of the cerebral cortex uh, construction of our party, it reaches the highest heights of the sun to the lowest valley of the same. And but we're here today supporting Joe, and we're for Joe, we're for Brandon, because this is the cerebral cortex of the trajectory of his, this is how she talked, it's word salad, okay? PayPal.me for slash is gibberish, Pastor Dave, right beside Pastor Queen Sugar's name. I'm sorry, right beside Pastor Sugar's name. Please, you should be like popcorn, 200, 300, 500. Thank you, Pastor Chris Harris, one of our powerful pastors from Long Beach. Thank you for your financial gift. Thank you, Manica. Thank you. We love you. We love all of you guys. Listen. Oh, my God. Fanny, panty, ghetto girl. I don't understand. You see what the judge did, Pastor Charity? Pastor saying, you see what the judge did, Pastor Colleen? He's covering his behind, okay? And instead of removing Fanny, panty, okay, from being the lead counsel, He's covering her. He said, well, it's up to her if she wants to stay. And it's up to her to dismiss Nathan. Wait, no, it's up to you, judge. He's covering his behind. You know why? Because this woman gave thousands of dollars to his campaign. And this judge who's in the pocket of Joe Biden and is in the pocket of the Georgia State Democratic Party, he has given thousands of dollars to Fannie Willis's campaign when she was running, okay? 
as is she is she the, not she's not the attorney general, but one of the district prosecuting attorneys. Well, who supported her? That is corrupt. You're, it's a mess, Pastor Sabrina. It's a mess. Well, it's up. No, it's not up to her. It's up to you, Judge. He's just covering his back. But you know what? Little Fanny Trash Hair, uh, Trat Harris. Yeah, her too. Fanny Willis. She's done. President Trump, you're going to be fine. President Trump will win re-election. Okay, and President Trump is right. If he loses, I'm t- there's going. I'm just going. I'm not going to say the word. But it's going, I'm telling you, but President Trump will be elected. It's all about ready to collapse. They're panicking past the divine kingdom keys. That's what they're doing. Fanny, and she's lying. Did you see? Lying right on. <laughs> she's lying right in court. I love, what's her name? The... The one that the attorney that was exposing her, Ashley Merchant, I love her. Okay. And she was just asking Miss Willis, who tried to make it a racial card situation, asking Fanny, okay, have you ever slept with this man in the last three years? So she's going through her notes, you know, uh, this is systemic racism, but she won't answer the question. Okay. Oh, yes, daddy. It's God's time. It's God's time now, Pastor Renee. Thank you, guys. The walls need to be, they're tumbling down, Pastor Sabrina. The walls of Jericho are coming down. Thank you for being with the bishop. We're getting word solid, not just Kamala, but word solid, Joe Biden and the corrupt Biden administration that pound for pound, the Biden administration is the most corrupt administration in U.S. presidential history. I thought it was um, not just the Clintons, the Clintonistas, but the Obamas. I got to tell you, Biden has toppled all of them, the most corrupt. And you got a president, he's gibberish, and we don't know what he's, it's a mess. And the world is laughing at us. Right beside Pastor Sugar's name, paypal.me forward slash GSR Mina Group, or right beside Pastor Charity's name, take this please, and or take your finger, whether you got a, a um, desktop, laptop, Apple, Chrome tablet, Android, iPhone, Apple Watch, just click on one of these links right beside Pastor Sugar's name, right beside Pastor Charity's name, right beside Pastor Sam's name, right beside Pastor True Witness name, right beside Pastor Sugar's name. Okay. Uh, and also right beside Pastor uh, Sugar 50's name is our cash app, which is dollar sign global revolution one. And Pastor Sam, you know, in my conclusion, uh, who is the brother um, who is, um, he hosts a powerful sports show, Pastor Sam and all the pastors. His name is Charles. He's, um, his show Dreamers Pro, something like, is it Dreamers Pro, Pastor uh, Sam? I love that brother. I'd love to get him on my radio show. And my staff loves him too, you know. Uh, good brother, man. And he's a conservative at heart. Dreamers Pro. Thank you, Pastor Sam. And Pastor Charles, if you're watching, uh, please listen. We support you, brother. Uh, listen, do you guys remember? And I'll say this and I'll let you go. And thank you, Pastor Sugar. Um, our real IG account, Instagram account, is at Bishop John Wick. At Bishop John Wick. It's our only account. If you see any other account with my name, block them, report them to Instagram. It's not me. It's not our staff. Our Instagram link is at Bishop John Wick, at Bishop John Wick. Thank you, Pastor Sam. Thank you so much. And we'd love to get him on our radio show. We'd love um, on the WMCA M570 FM 102.3 network through the iHeart Media Group. And they're in New York City, New York. Stephen A., so you guys remember the prophecy, Pastor Sam? Pastor Carly, that the bishop gave, what, two to three months ago? Stephen A. Smith will be fired from ESPN. You remember that. It's coming, okay? See, all of the screaming, Pastor Sam, has run out. All of the screaming. J.J. Riddick is exposing him. Shannon Sharp is exposing him. 
You see, Shannon Sharp is going to take over the show because Shannon Sharp, Shannon Sharp brings ratings, okay? Stephen A. Smith will be fired. For thus saith the Lord, Stephen A. Smith will be fired. When his contract is up, ESPN will not renew his contract. They will fire him, but he'll tell you, well, I'm looking for bigger and better things. Remember what the bishop said. When Stephen A. Smith is fired, he leaves the SPM. Remember the prophecy, but thus saith the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whose name is Yeshua the Christ, okay? Thank you so much, everyone. Stephen looks like it. <laughs> okay? Remember, remember, remember. Listen, Stephen A. Smith. Your days are numbered, man, okay? Listen, thank you guys for being with the bishop tonight. Yeshua HaMashiach, Yeshua Yahweh, Yahuwah, the Christ. Thank you so much, okay? He's a laughing stock of the world, but he is, Pastor Rick, okay? His time is up. He got into a big argument a week or two ago, Pastor Sam, uh, what's the brother's name? I like him. White brother. He, he oh God, I can't remember his name. McC what's it? McC McC McAfee? McAfee? What's his first name? McAfee. And ESPN made him the highest paid. Uh, Pat McAfee, thank you. I love that brother. That brother is a conservative at heart. And I heard he's a supporter of President Trump. He cussed out Stephen A. Smith, okay? Because Stephen A. Smith was trying to punk him, okay? You see, Pat McAfee doesn't need ESPN. ESPN needs Pat McAfee more than Pat McAfee needs PS ESPN. Pat McAfee can leave tomorrow and go back to what fan duel and make millions of dollars. We see ESPN doesn't need Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith needs ESPN, <coughs> needs ESPN more than ESPN needs. Stephen A. Smith is on his way out. Thank you, guys. You see, Pat McAfee is the real deal. And that's why Stephen A. Smith is so mad at ESPN because he's jealous of Pat McAfee because Pat McAfee is making millions of dollars. Okay, LeBron and JJ started a podcast, and oh Lord, JJ, listen, stay away from LeBron. JJ, I'm telling you, stay away from LeBron. Your buddy LeBron, FBI is coming after you, Labalco. Thank you so much. The Lord laughs in derision and his enemies. That's right, Pastor Rebecca. God bless you, um, Pastor Sip. I can't wait for this to be certain parts of this to be a up on Instagram. I love you, Pastor Sippy. Powerful work that you're doing. And Pastor Sippy, all your dreams are coming true. I got to come down to the Bama to visit you and your husband. Praise God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Sippy. Love you. And I want to thank you, Pastor Sippy, for putting up those videos. I know you're busy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, Pastor Sippy. And I want you to know how proud I am of you. And I appreciate you. And I love, I'm in love with every one of you guys. Now, don't think it's strange when the bishop says he's in love with you. It means I love you as Christ loves you. Pray for me. I have to go uh, to an event tomorrow. Praise God. And also I have to cover another event on Thursday. Okay. So our next class, uh, praise God, would be on Friday. Okay. Um, yeah, our next class will be on Friday. Now, don't be surprised if we start early on Thursday. We'll let you guys know through social media tomorrow. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Right beside Pastor Charity's name. And we're ended here tonight. PayPal.me forward slash GSR Minute Group. Thank you, Pastor Cedric. I really appreciate that, man of God. Love you, man of God. All you guys love you so much. Okay. And uh, pray for your bishop. Hold me up in prayer, okay? Hold your bishop up in prayer. I need your prayer, okay? Need your prayers. Hold me up in prayer. 
And see, we got these demons who are agitated. You see, anytime I hit nerves, okay, these demons come out, but no weapon that's formed against you and I shall prosper. Good night from Los Angeles. And God willing, I'll see you guys either early Thursday or Friday. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. And that is the end of module one, volume one of the immaculate deception of deception. And I thank you. Okay. Clowns, clones, and buffoons. We're exposing them all. Okay. Shaquille O'Neal can, can't put two coherent words together. And Kenny the Jet Smith, all of them house slaves, clowns, clones, and buffoons. Okay. Stephen A. Smith, all of their days are numbered. God bless you. And let me tell you something else, Pastor Sam. Not only <coughs> is Stephen A. Smith's days, his days are numbered. Okay. Um, the brother that he used to work, Skip Bayless, his days are numbered at Fox Sports 1. And don't be shocked, no surprise, if Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith start their own show. I know that sounds crazy, but don't be surprised, okay? God bless you. I'll see you guys on Thursday or Friday. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Go through this teaching again and share this teaching throughout social media, Facebook, Twitter, X, Instagram, TikTok, especially TikTok, including Telegram, BitChute, Gab, and the Patriot channel. Patriot on page. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, William got his mystery. I heard about that, Pastor Shuka. And let me tell you something. Um, Pastor Sam, I got a um, an alert today from a pastor, one of our student pastors in London. They're saying uh, William's wife, Kate, was wearing a hoodie. Why is she wearing a hoodie? Could it be because she has the C word? Let me tell you something, man. It's all coming down. God bless you. Good night. I'll see you guys either Thursday or Friday. She's wearing a hoodie. Is it because of radiation? We don't know. You see? Pastor Sam, it's all coming out. Operation Work Speed. Oh, thank you, Pres pa uh, President Trump. God bless you. We'll see you guys on either Thursday or Friday. Is or, the, or the replacement, Pastor Sugar. You see? It's all coming down. See you guys and continue the Sim Bishop videos, links, continue to do that, okay? Um, and, and she loved him. And the way William has been treating her is the same way that his father, Charles, treated his mother, Diana. Same thing. You see what's happened to Charles? It's coming to William God bless you guys. I'll see you on Thursday or Friday. I love you. Good night from Los Angeles. God bless you in Christ's holy name.